Throughout the history, mankind battled wars, famines, natural disasters, and sickness. Hereditary, acquired, incurable. Yet slowly by steady progress was made. 1869, Louis Pasteur discovers bacteria and cures cholera. 1921, scientists at the Toronto University start treating diabetes with insulin. 1928, Alexander Fleming discovers penicillin and combats infections. 1951, James Watson and Francis Crick show the essence of all secrets, DNA structure. 2013, a new discovery that could change medicine as we know it forever. Meet Professor Virginios Shakespeare, one of the scientists whose research in the past couple of years promises one of the major breakthroughs in science. Uh, viruses represent a lethal threat not only to humans, but also to bacteria. And bacteria survive because they were able to build multiple antiviral defense barriers that provide resistance against inviting uh, viral DNA, similar to like immune system provides resistance against viruses in humans. For the last decade, we were studying one of these antiviral defense systems called CRISPR-Cas trying to understand how this antiviral defense system provides resistance against viruses. And we found that in one of the CRISPR-Cas systems, a single Cas9 protein bound to an RNA molecule is able to provide resistance against viruses. And the Cas9 protein functions as molecular scissors that, guided by CRISPR RNA, found target in the invading viral DNA and cuts it. Changing the CRISPR RNA molecule allows to address Cas9 scissors to any part of the genome. And this opened a unique possibility to edit genes in the different genomes. Imagine that this sentence is our DNA and words are our genes. Now, as you see, there is a long letter here. Using these molecular scissors, we can replace the wrong letter in a word or even replace the wrong word with the right word. Even more, we can edit the whole sentence, sorry, our DNA. Certainly, we still have to find how to put this into practice, but implications could be immense. Imagine a world where genes that determine our genetic diseases could be edited. Imagine agriculture where plants vulnerable to droughts and pests could be edited to provide more resistance. Imagine all the wrong letters replaced with the correct ones. I'd like to cut through all the mysteries that surround DNA. You never know when you struck your luck again.